you want more traffic to your RV dealer website? Of course, what dealer doesn't? But did you know that the amount of traffic that goes to your website is variant upon the number of quality pages that you have on your site? I'm Jason Noel, the founder of Enfuel, the place RV dealers go for higher rankings, traffic, and more RV leads. And in this video, you're in for a treat. I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step game plan for how I create content that RV buyers love and how to share that content across the web. I have one tip saved for the end that will actually have you kicking yourself at first, but super excited to start implementing moving forward. So keep watching. Let's think of each topic as a traffic bucket. The more topics your website talks about, the more traffic opportunities your website will have. For instance, if your website only has a page for each class type and repair page, you have a limited number of pages that can rank in Google and thus limiting the number of visitors that can view your site. So in this image, a maximum of 791 visitors per month. If there are a maximum of 300 people in your area looking for travel trailers, you will never ever have more than 300 visitors unless your town grows substantially or you open up shop in a new city. Because you can't easily manufacture more traffic to your travel trailer page, you'll need to create more industry related content to attract new visitors to your business. So now that you know that the traffic going to your website is variant on the number of pages that you have on your website, the question is, what do you write about? Well, the answer is simple. Ask your customers. In my prior video on the customer buying cycle, I went over the four stages that every RV buyer goes through that leads the RV dealer. And in that video, I went over how RV buyers are specifically searching online. Basically, coming up with what to write about comes down to making a list of what your customers are searching for, then prioritizing it in accordance to your dealership's top ROI avenues. So go back and watch the customer buying cycle video to get caught up if you haven't already. Okay, a little word of warning. One of the easiest ways that RV dealers can get automated content on their website is through their web service company or NADA in the form of a data feed. While the data feed is one of the easiest ways to get content for specifications on your RVs, it shouldn't be the only thing that you have for content on your website. The problem with this is duplicate content for every dealer. You see, Google and customers see the same thing on every site, the same year, make, model, weight, water capacity, yada, yada, yada. And the only thing that's different from one dealer to the next is the background behind the RV image. It's all the same. Okay, I'm not saying this to blast RV dealers, as I feel that data feeds are great. However, I'm pointing this out as a huge opportunity for RV dealers to stand out using quality, unique content because it's time to get back to wooing customers through crafty sales content. And that is done by going back to the basics of a content outline. So a content outline is nothing more than a catchy title, body content that's incredibly intriguing and personalized and well-written with sprinkled media throughout it. And media is in a PDF, tons of images, video, better yet, video testimonials, and followed all of that up with a call to action or some kind of a catchy hook. This sales content outline isn't anything new. Matter of fact, it's been around since 1888 when Richard Sears created the first printed mailer for his Sears catalog. Now that we have a list of all of the content to write about and an outline to follow, how much content should you write? Here's a huge case study that was just done by Brian Dean with Backlinko. In his case study, he analyzed over 1 million search results to see if any one of those pages had anything in common for ranking on the first page of Google. So after he analyzed 1 million search results, there was one thread in common with all of these websites that ranked on the first page of Google. And the results were 
total word count. Think about it. If you wanted to read about Abraham Lincoln, his youth, his presidency, maybe even the assassination, do you think you could get all of those topics covered in two paragraphs and 500 words? <laughs> Not a chance. I just pulled up the Wikipedia page for Abraham Lincoln and it currently has 15,453 words and ranks number one in Google for Abraham Lincoln. Why? Because it's incredibly thorough and covers every major area in his life. Thus, other websites online are willing to link to it and share it on social media as the all-in-one reference for Abraham Lincoln. As Brian Dean's case study is of the general nature, I wanted to do an RV industry only case study to see if total word count related to rankings in Google. So in my study, I wanted to do a search on the top travel trailers for 2016 and to see what the total word count was for ranking on the first page of Google. In my case study, I searched the Jayco Flight, the Cherokee, the Wildwood, Salem, and the Rockwood of all of the first page listings in Google to see what their total word count was. As you can see in the graph, it was similar across the board for each one of the top five travel trailers for 2016. The first place listing received 4,032 words, or had 4,032 words on it. The second place had an average of uh, 2,543. Third place, 3,000 or just over and then 1,500, 1,900, and then obviously just starting the taper off after that. So you can see how total word count is crucial for ranking on the first page of Google. All right, here's another huge word of warning. Do not, and I mean do not copy content from other websites or publications and publish them on your website. Google doesn't like duplicate content because it doesn't know which one is the original source. So by all means, they won't be ranking your website on the first page of Google. So make it authentic. Tons of well-crafted content throughout your site is huge. But what keeps visitors on your site longer and converting more is the media that's sprinkled throughout your page. Because here's the deal, we need to be able to lend our website to every style of visitor that comes to our site. Whether they love to view videos, or whether they like to scroll through the slideshow images, or whether they like to just print out the PDFs so they can just get off their computer and view it offline. All right, here is a huge tip for RV dealers. Every RV dealer must be creating video walkthroughs of every RV on their lot. Here's why. If you are an RV dealer, and let's say last year you sold 200 RVs. Well, if you would have done a video walkthrough of all 200 of them and placed them on your YouTube channel, you would have 200 videos all sending traffic back to your website forever. With that said, start creating video walkthroughs of all of your RVs and start posting them online with a link back to your website. That is crucial to start building the inventory and residual traffic back to your website. It's what I love doing. I love being able to create things once and receive residual income, or in this case, traffic back to your website. This is fabulous. So now we've reached the final stage, sharing your content all across the web. This is the easy part. We've already gone over what topics to create, the outline for how to start putting together each article on your site, as well as how much content you should have on each page. We've also gone over how to sprinkle multimedia throughout each page to engage the users. Now we're gonna go into how to take the content that you've already created and share it across the web. So now all of the hard work is done. The content's created, all of the multimedia that you need for the pages are done, now it's time to share that content on the most popular social media sites. Currently, the most popular social media sites are Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. As every RV dealer's perfect target market is different, I would suggest initially blasting out your newly created content to each one of those social media sites, then going into Google Analytics after a week or two weeks to see which social media site 
sent the most traffic and provided the best conversion. After that, you can start whittling down which sites, social media sites, to send to and which ones not to waste your time with. Thanks for watching my step-by-step -step strategy for creating content that sells and sharing it across the web. If you want marketing tips that I only share with my subscribers, head over to my website and fuelrvs.com and sign up for our newsletter. It's free. Now I turn it over to you. Which one of the four content strategies appealed to you? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.